Hey, what's up, everyone? This is Brandon Bias from JitterCheckIt.com, and welcome to another Photoshop beginner tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to make an insane desktop background the easy way. I noticed that a lot of people were having issues with our advanced version of how to make a cool background, and so I'm making this because it's really easy to do and it still looks pretty awesome. So when you have Photoshop open, go ahead and go to File New and make a project that's the same dimensions as your desktop. Mine, like always, are 1280 by 720. And before we do anything, go over to your background layer and double click the lock and just hit OK. That way we can unlock the layer and do whatever we want to it. And fill up this layer with black by hitting Shift Backspace and under Contents, Make sure you go to use black and hit OK, and that should take care of that for you. So the first thing that we want to do to start making our cool background is to go over to the rectangle tool, but actually go down to the custom shape tool. And then if you go to the shape and click the drop down arrow, you will get this list of shapes here. But that's not a very wide selection of shapes, so just click this arrow that goes off to the right and click the word all and just hit OK. And then you'll see that you have this ginormous list of shapes. I mean, there's just so many of them. Look at that. That's, that's way too many shapes. So what you want to do is you want to go through all your shapes and find one that you like, like maybe this flower to frame thing right here and give it a double click and then go up to the color and click this black box here and set the color to white by putting your little circle dealio all the way in the upper left hand corner and hit OK and then if you put your crosshair in the middle and click and drag you'll start making your shape but we want this to be centered so hold alt and shift that way we can make it from the center and it will still have a square look to it meaning like it's not all lopparted looking it's, it actually looks nice and the first thing we need to do to this shape is go up to filter blur radio blur just hit OK and that will rasterize your layer for you set the amount to 50 the blur method to zoom and the quality to best and then when you hit OK, you will see that it blurs out your shape from the center here. And before we move on, we're going to head back to the, the Move tool up here, or just hit the letter V, whichever works for you, because we're going to be moving this around later. And once you have your shape blurred, go ahead and right-click your Shape 1 layer and do Merge Down, and that will merge your two layers together. And then go up to Filter sketch chrome and then if you move this over you can see your shape and it's already looking pretty insane and what you do with your detail and smoothness is up to you just do whatever you think looks you know the most amazing but if you just set it up all the way to max you know it always gives good results so there's no wrong in going that way so when you hit OK, you've got your one layer and you've got your shape all chromified, if that's even a word. And we want to give this some color, so we'll just go up to Image, Image Adjustments, Hue and Saturation, or just hit Control U, whichever you prefer. And we want to colorize our image and set up the saturation to 100% so that the color comes out even more. And then change your hue to I don't know, whatever your favorite color is, I guess. So for me, we'll just make it a light blue, somewhere in the 199, 200 area. And hit OK. And you've already got this chromified, blue-looking star shape thing for your background. And I won't lie, this looks pretty cool just as it is, but we want to do some more to this to make it even more interesting. So we're going to duplicate this layer by hitting Control J, or if you don't like shortcuts, you can just 
take your layer and drag it down to this create a new layer icon right here. It's right next to the trash can and that will duplicate it as well, but control Z to undo that. And what we want to do is um, set the blend mode to screen. And what that does is it pretty much makes all of the black in the layer see-through. So if I were to move this layer around, you can see that the black from the star layer, or the black in this layer isn't covering up the layer below it. And we'll just undo that so that it's where it was before. And so what we want to do to this is go ahead and do Control T, which is the transform tool. And if you notice, we've got this kind of box around it. And if you have your arrow, your pointer, I mean, on the outside, you can see it turns into like a, a bent arrow. And that means you can click and drag and rotate your shape. And you can pretty much just do whatever the heck you want from this point. You can rotate it. You can click and drag the corners to make it um, different shapes and sizes. But if you hold Alt and Shift, you will it will uh, resize around the center point right here. You see that? And you know if you think that looks cool, just check mark it and yeah, see that looks pretty cool as it is. But I'm gonna undo it again, just to where it was before, because I've got a really really sweet idea for this.